regarding online banking as well as the business sectors online present through e-commerce are likewise included IT trends on reduction and case studies on the use of technology in health are also presented lastly this chapter covers several issues in IT that the different sectors face industries both in the workplace and in the society at large of this potential to impact how we live and how we work for instance through the use of sensors electronics and robotics major companies have reported increase in productivity as well as accuracy of results in their production lines. The following articles present the positive effects of LAT and the role of the internet and network connectivity in business. IT automation, automating what used to be manual procedures is the trend in organizations and industries as with IoT, automation helps many companies achieve greater productivity among its employees by using co computers and software programs to do the task. Such automation includes accounting system, production system, and even security system. The news articles below, below mention how a simple attendance monitoring system has become much easier as well as how companies and employees can benefit from using technology in their daily work. Banking Online banking, also known as internet banking or web banking, allows a user to execute financial transactions via the internet and online bank offers con customer just about ever including deposit money transfer and bill payments and news articles the follows and explore to the risk digital banking con customer as more and more filipinos rely on the internet connection to avail of different bank services education most college and universities of the philippines use a learning management system or LMS to deliver, manage, and keep track and of student progress. This LMS, this which delivered online, relates to the e-learning system. E-learning is learning that utilizes electronics technologies to access educational curriculum outside of a traditional classroom. In most cases, 
it refers to a course program or degree delivered completely online. Some call this as distance learning. The news articles that follow discuss how telecom companies such as Globe and PLDT are giving back to the society by introducing technologies to public school as teachers become global learners. Business, electronics, co commerce, or e-commerce is a term for any type of business or commercial transaction that involves the transfer of information across the internet and covers a range of different types of business from consumer based retail sites and auction or music sites to business exchange trading goods and services between co corporations it is currently one of the most important aspects of the internet health e-health or e-health refers to the use of information and communication technology in healthcare in it covers a lot uh, of ter territory which is why digital health industries expert often contest exactly that the term means and to add to the confusion it is also frequently used as a synonym of health. The World Health Organization or WHO defines e-health as the cost-effective and secure use of information and communication technologies in support of health and health-related fields including healthcare services, health surveillance, health literature and, and health education knowledge and research, issues and challenges industry with the introduction and computer system at work one main issues raised is maintaining a computer system security and integrity modes of communication within an office environment normally entail exchanging of emails or discussion in local chat rooms this scenario opens the doors for malicious software that can be shared better intentionally or not to the entire malicious software or malware is a general term used to describe any type of software that can use harm, harm to a computer example of malware includes the following one is virus, it is a computer program usually hidden within another program that inserts itself into other programs or files. Once inside the computer system is usually perform malicious actions such as destroying data or deleting processing files in the computer causing it to crash. alone malware that replicates itself in order to spread to other computers it almost almost always causes at the least some hard to a computer system such as slowing down a network connection compared to a virus a worm causes less damage however a worm can also act as a virus by replicating itself causing damage and multiple parts in the system to a malicious program which initially appears to be useful routine or interesting in order to persuade a victim to install it unlike computer viruses and worms throw hands generally do not attempt to inject themselves into other files or otherwise propagate themselves however a trohan may contain a virus of a or a worm which once open can cause damage to the computer 
spyware a spyware is a software that aims to gather information about an organization or a person without his or her knowledge it may send particular information to another entity without the consumer's consent most advertising com companies use this for marketing purposes and extension of this is another malware called adware a uh, more dangerous type of spyware is one that asserts control over a device without a user's knowledge such as keys through logging or spy cams run somewhere it is type of malware that can block access to a victim's data the hacker uses his or her technical knowledge or skills to get an authorized access to data or system the hacker also threatens the victim that the specific data will be deleted for example until a ransom is paid some simple ransomware is not that difficult to reverse especially for someone who has knowledge in IT however more advanced malware uses a technique called crypto viral extortion in which the victim's files are encrypted and the hacker would dem demand a ransom for the file to the descriptor. One of the most recent malware attack which has hit almost 74 countries affecting several industries worldwide was the ransomware wanna cry the article below discusses how to ransomware at attack happen banking while online banking may be convenient there are still skeptics to this given to the sensitive data being transacted online money there simply as a post for the system upgrade cost customer of bank of the philippine island bpi to either lose money from their accounts or their of the hard amounts of money that were not there the articles below describe the situation which occurred for 48 hours leaving their customers irate and panic education with online learning being accepted into school as per of the teaching and learning methodology one of the things that school need to consider in monitoring and management having a learning management system does not necessarily mean students are contained into using it to learn there are more websites that offer learning opportunities for students such as time for kids national geographic and nasa among other however the use of lms still causes issues and challenges to both students and teachers business as previously discussed some companies use a way to track information about their customers for marketing purposes you may ask how is that possible whenever you buy items online in sites like lazada amazon or zalora your personal details search as your name, gender, items for case, etc. are saved by the retailers later on by browsing other websites such as web, Facebook, you notice and advertisement streaming at the bottom of the page. The advertisement includes items from Lazada or Amazon which you are browsing earlier. How do Facebook now? What you were looking in?
customized advertisement can be displayed it is a bad thing it depends an advert can be considered a legitimate alternative offered to consumers who do not wish to pay for software there are many ad supported programs games or utilities that are distributed as adware which is often called as freeware some applications have pop up advertisement that is if a user wishes to remove them a certain free should be made to make the apps and help patient records are always confidential however with the introduction of technology and with hospital and clinics leaning towards automation patient records have to shift from paper to digital this concerns regarding data security and data confidentiality of patient having this but why is there such an interest in patient records according to the international association of privacy professionals a medical record is more valuable than a credit card in the black market according to the world privacy forum a medical record including a name address social security number and health id number typically just from 50 dollar on the online black market and active credit card sales for just Data protection measures in, the, in their data processing system to protect the confidentiality of their patient, personal information, and medical records. Violations of data privacy involve penalties under the DPA. The penalty for unauthorized disclosure of personal information is 1 million pesos. The penalty extends to 2 million if the act involves sensitive personal information. In the United States, the health insurance portability and accountability at HIV AIDS in 1996 was designed to promote the confidentiality and portability of patient records as well as to develop data security standard for consistency in the healthcare industries under this act. Organizations adhere to HIPAA compliance standards related to protecting their systems and patients can feel confident that their personal medical information will remain private with technological advancement. However, the rules seem inadequate does the HIPAA, HIPAA security final rule the last of the three HIPAA rules was published in the February 20, 2003 issues of federal register with an effective date of April 21, 2003 the HIPAA security rules Established national standard to protect individuals' electronic personal health information that is created, received, used, or maintained by a covered entity. The security rule requires appropriate administrative, physical, and technical safeguard to ensure the community confidentiality, integrate, integrity, and security electronic protected. Chapter Key Points Two major trends are seen in the industry sector, automation and the application to Internet of Things, IoT, hence the introduction of smart industries, online banking, e-learning, 
distance learning, e-commerce, and e-health are products of these trends. Despite these trends, the security and integrity of computer system are the risk various malwares and adware post threat on the confidentiality of information flow. Online transactions have also become prevalent.